All right, so here's the next example. For the function h, whose graph is given, state the value of each quantity if it exists. If it does not exist, explain why. All right, so it says limit of h of x as x approaches negative 3 from the left-hand side. All right, so you guys don't remember the symbols. This is what the symbols mean. So l means left-hand side, l minus, rp means positive. So this is ln, right? That means negative. Rp means right's positive. All right, so that's just the mnemonics, right? All right, so let's take a look right here. So left from the ln, so left from the negative side, so it's going this way. Where is it approaching? 3. So actually, that would be 4. My bad. Because look okay. at and so a good way to check, just in case you mess up, is always to look at your y-axis and check where where our y-axis is heading, right? So for well if you see what I'm doing right here, I'm just going like that. And so I know where this point's gonna be at for two. And we'll get there right now. So our next one says from find x as it approaches from the right hand side. So that's gonna be the right because we just checked it for the y-axis all right now it says limit of h of x as h let's see yeah, blah 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 so three right so it'd be four and why because it these two are true right if the limit approaches from the left side and the right hand side then our standard limit uh, standard definition of a limit exists so this means this is true all right so x h and minus 3, so h of x, this is basically the same, h of negative 3. And so the way I always make sure I get this right is I make a line, a little dot, and you can see, oh, okay, it's open. So then that means, what does it mean? For that given point, it does not exist. So D and E. All right, let's take the next question. The limit of h of x as x approaches 0 from what side is that? The left hand side. Alright, so we're going over here and it's going to look like this. Going for the left hand side. There's a solid point right here. That means it's 1. Okay. So we know it's 1. Alright, so the next problem says Alright, next problem says the limit of h of x as it's a x is approaching from what side? The right hand side. All right, it's going down, 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 down. So what appears to be one. So let's take a look, or negative one, my bad. All right, let's take a look at, all right, give me a sec. Or G, let's take a look at G. Just double checking if I have these right. So limit of h of x as x approaches from zero. All right. So remember what I said. We gotta do this test right here. All right. So is it true that these two points meet up? And from the left hand side and the right hand side, let's take a look over here too. We clearly see that no. It they don't, so it does not exist. And I just explained it, right? Because you need to meet up from the left hand and the right hand side. All right, h of of zero. So, what do you think that is? It's gonna be one, right? Because we do this test again. It's not. A, it's open at negative to one, and it's positive right here at one. All right, next question. Uh, limit of h of x as x approaches from two. And when it says our function right here is really important because you know there's multiple different kinds of functions, right? This could say h of x, and you might have another f function or curve that's up here, and that could be g of x. So just keep that in mind. You know, I don't think most textbooks and professors make it that complicated, but just something to keep in mind. All right, so x as 
as approaches from two, let's see. It's going to be so it doesn't give us an indication where it says it approaches from the left and the right hand side. And so we look right here, we do our little testing, remember? And it appears that it looks like it's two. Alright, so next problem J, H uh, of two, H of two. So we do our little testing again. Let me make a little line. Alright, it's open. So that means it does not exist. Why? Because at that given point of interest too, it's open, so it does not exist. We could get close to a limit, and it appears that it's as if it's two, but it's not true that it's two. All right, five from what side? Where we? That's why you write it down. Because sometimes you get confusing because we're working with positive and negatives. So it's the right hand side. So we're approaching from the right hand side. So we're going this way. All right, boom! Right here, we meet up right there. So what point is that? And where what I said we do this. So if I go like that, it appears that it's three. So I didn't make a mistake. S these problems you could easily make mistakes. And sometimes your professor might only give you half the credit because of this. You must made a little mistake. So you don't want to make little mistakes. Alright, so now approaching from the left hand side. So what side are we going? We're going this way. And so let's take a look. Alright, so we're going following the curve, following the curve. And if you don't know anything about this, if we were to zoom in up in here on this curve. So let's say we're going oof. Let's say we're going like up here, we have a curve. It's gonna be oscillating. You know what oscillating means? It means that it's going back and forth. It doesn't know what what point it wants to be. And so for this given question, it does not exist. And that's how you explain it. You just say that at that given point it's o oscillating. So make sure you look that up. What oscillating means. So that that's all our answers. I hope that helps you guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe because it will help a lot.